okay everyone so you just received this back um, you should have your grade on it I'm gonna go over some of the ones y'all missed I'm gonna go over one in each section actually so in this first one uh, when you graph the transformation remember that in a cubic your ordered pairs are negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So what you're going to do here is look at each piece. This minus 3 will shift it right 3 because that's a horizontal, horizontal shift in there. What you do with that is you remove all of these 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then 1, 2, 3. So that's how that would shift. To do that for your ordered pairs, you would add 3 to these. So negative 1 plus 3 would be 2. 0 plus 3 would be 3. And 1 plus 3 would be 4. So as you can see, that's your new ordered pairs, like negative 2, or excuse me, 2, 3, 4. Now, what would this plus 2 do? It would make it go up 2. So then you would shift these 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2. So your new curve would be here. Now when you go up 2, that's really adding 2 to your to your y value. So negative 1 plus 2 would be 1, 0 plus 2 would be 2, and 4 plus 2 would be, um, excuse me, 1 plus 2 would be 3. So as you can see, that's your new ordered pairs. So that's how you do the transformation. to the next section, 3 and 4. I'm going to do one of those. So 3 and 4, it says the graph of this is reflected across the x-axis. The graph is translated up 11 units and 7 units to the left. Write the equation. So what you're going to do, this is your parent function. Uh, these are easier to see. If I go 11 units up, then I'm going to have that is going to be on the outside of the parentheses because that's a vertical movement outside the parentheses, so plus 11. Now to go 7 units to the left, you would do the opposite of what you think inside here. So 7 units to the left, you would think minus 7, but it's actually plus 7. And then your cube goes on here because this is your parent function, so that's your cubic. To get a reflection across the x-axis, that's where you have something like this, and it's reflected down. That's a vertical flip, so you would put a negative on the outside. And that would be your new function. So help do that, or let that help you do number four. Look at that before you take your test. All right, now the next section, you've got to remember a couple of things. Um, to decide if it's odd or even, you're going to look at these um, arrows here. If they are pointed in the same direction, it's an even exponent, like a parabola. So those are even. Those are even, and this would be odd because they're going in different directions. Now, the leading coefficient, you look at this, the one on the right. If the leading coefficient is pointing up, it's positive. So these are positive. And then your other one over here is pointing down, so that's negative. And that's how you would do those problems. And now for your last set of problems, I'm going to do one of those, as I said. So this one, remember on these, when you're graphing these, um, you're going to set each, each parentheses equal to 0. So x minus 1 equal to 0, and then x plus 3 equal to 0, and you're going to solve. So x minus 1 equals 0, you would add 1 and get x equals 1, and then x equals negative 3. So negative 3 is an x-intercept and 1 is an x-intercept. Now you need to determine your arrows. Which way do they go? So you pull out everything big here. So a negative would be pulled out, and then here you would get an x squared, because if you foil that, x squared would be the biggest, and then you would get an x. So if you multiply all those together, you get negative x to the third. The negative makes, makes the right side go down, and the cubic is odd, so your left side does the opposite. And then at negative 3, you have an exponent of a 1. That's odd, so you go through it. And then at 1, 
here, here's your root, here's your factor. It had an even exponent, so you go up there and bounce off of it. And that's what you would do on those. So you have a few like that on your test. Um, you have two of those, actually. It has different um, explanations. It has a different direction. But all I want you to do is graph those. And uh, your teacher will tell you which ones those are. Um, take about 5-10 minutes and review your notes. Look at your foldable notes that we made. Look at your notes, um, any notes that you've taken, and then you will take the test. Good luck.